How you doing? Uh, my name's Chuck Reagan. We're honored to be here at Wolfgang's Vault. This is Joe Ginsburg and our good friend John Gaunt. We're going to play Let It Rain for you. trees and filter light and the silence oh my dear is a storm now draw me near let it rain i don't mind keep you warm high and dry light your fire and hold you right sing your song one more time well howl at the moon if you want Hell, you won't be the only one Well, there's no place that I'd rather be Than at home with you next to me Let it rain, I don't mind Keep you warm, high and dry Light your fire and hold you right See your song one more time Just fine Let it rain I don't mind Keep you warm High and dry Light your fire And hold you right Sing your song One more time I hope it rains I don't mind Keep you warm High and dry Light your fire And hold you right Sing your song Hey there, this one's called Rotterdam. Took a walk in Rotterdam, thinking about a train all along the banks of memory. Holding tight away and on the end of every corner, can almost hear her sound. Yeah, time went by in ecstasy, walking next to walls And the color of the water was the rail she was on And when the whistles blew far away, I felt she knew somehow For the train often rattles from the rail shaking ground I close my eyes and almost hear her now I took a walk in Rotterdam, dodging spoken wheel, and a few unnerving riders, agile or insane, and the rest victims of fashion. Lord, we're all to blame. Yeah, I found myself a bar stool, something on the rocks. I was dreaming I could ride the sun westward as it dropped, and find her at the station, gracefully rolling to a stop. For the train of that rattle from the rail shaking ground, I close my eyes and see her westward bound. Well, I keep that mind wandering of love on the rails, that slow rolling days, still pushing home. Shake 
and growl I close my eyes and see her Westward bound Folks, this one's called Ride His Ring. Oh, I must say My heart's on fire Since I've been away So that's all your faith Oh, come what may It'll all get right Lonely Thanks, Caleb.
This one's called California Burritos. Angie with Crowd Eddie Magazine, and I'm here with Chuck Reagan, Joe Ginsburg, and John Gauntz, who just uh, stopped by the vault to play a wonderful session for us here. Um, so, yep. kind of just getting started, like your roots are with you were with uh, Hot Water Music for for many years. Mm -hmm. What was like that transition like for you to switch to this like kind of different? It's genre? it's not really anything different than uh, a lot of us were doing years and years ago. Mm -hmm. I just back uh, when Hot Water Music was pretty full steam ahead, that was always the main focus. But all of us, I mean, even all, a lot of the early Hot Water stuff was written on acoustic guitars. And, you know, I mean, we, you know, I was born and raised in the southeastern region of the state. So, you know, I grew up in a fairly conservative, good old Southern Baptist household. So there was a lot of gospel and bluegrass and country of course and on my mother's side of the family they're all cajun folks so you know there was a lot of that creole music in there and i don't know i mean i just think you know one way or the other whatever you grow up with it's going to seep out you know mm -hmm. somewhere along the line do you guys have similar origins with uh background with music uh kind of uh i uh, started playing classic violin when i was a kid and then kind of got burned out with it 
um, and then discovered, you know, much later roots music, Americana music, whether it was Celtic or bluegrass or country, and rediscovered my instrument. So uh, I've been playing um, like kind of folky music for a while now, but it didn't start off that way. But I've always enjoyed it, you know. Mm-hmm. I've always enjoyed this, the the sound of the music and just the way it makes me feel. Mm-hmm. How about you, Jim? Um, I kind of grew up playing jazz music for the most part and went to school for that, but I was into rock music the whole time and uh, just got more and more into Americana and that kind of stuff. And it's been great to kind of be able to pick up the upright again. I played electric bass in bands for a long time, so it's fun to have that big guy out there. How did this ensemble come together? Well, uh, John and I met years and years ago and... Um, uh, just through Hot Water Music being on tour, out kind of touring around, we actually had a saltine cracker eating contest way back in the day, <laughs> a long time that? ago. Mr. Gaunt won that <laughs> Congratulations. One. He won that round. But uh, one of these days we're going to have a rematch. <laughs> but right. uh, I would I say... I had something here. You can do it right now. But. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, seven years ago, when, when was it that we did that Common Grounds gig? Maybe wow. seven or eight years ago, maybe, maybe five, six. I don't think it was seven. Really? Oh no! Well, we were kind of doing some stuff. You played with a little bit with Rumble Seat, right? And that was about yeah. That was that, that was, was probably more like nine nine yeah. years ago. Yeah, true. But um, yeah, maybe about it was sometime in two thousand six. I guess it had to be. Uh, I was heading to uh, Gainesville, Florida, to play a show, and got in touch with Gaunt and just asked him to come out on stage and play a couple songs and we actually just went out to the parking lot ran through a couple songs walked on stage and played them and then uh, a few week, few maybe three four weeks later he was flying out to LA and that's when we recorded Los Feliz and Feast or Famine kind of that week so and then from that point on we've just kind of been full steam ahead and um, you know mostly it was always my wife and I if I was playing shows, it would just be my wife and I out on the road, or it'd be the three of us, my wife and John Gaunt and myself. And then uh, we had we started playing with uh, a bass player. Um, I'm not even sure where when that was, but uh, we we had a bass player on quite a few tours. On the revival in tour, the past- oh, is that yeah, like the road show yeah. revival tour? But yeah. I mean, even before before the revival tour was mm-hmm. happening. Um, did a did a few tours over in Europe, and we had a, a good friend, Digger Barnes, who's a, a German fella from Hamburg, who's playing upright, and um, and uh, yeah, he was just he was great, you know. But he's more of a coffee house, like he doesn't like the whole rock and roll ensemble, big shows, five thousand person venues. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Besides the point that it's hard to have a bass player that lives in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that too. States, yeah. But uh, we were lucky enough to meet Mr. Ginsburg here, who uh, uh, we met through our, our uh, tour manager and, and front of house engineer, Casey, Casey Kress, who used to tour manage uh, Joe's band, uh, oh, Single nice. File. So it's just, it's funny how things just kind of work out. Yeah, you totally. Know? And uh, Did you like um, experience any blowback from your fans of Hot Water Music when you switch gears, you know? I mean... Oh, not at all, yeah. really. I mean, honestly, not at all. I mean, I was pretty actually overwhelmed at uh, at the uh, support and the, the interest, you know. I mean, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just felt really blessed that I had that opportunity to to get out and and go play a show on overseas or across the country or whatever, and folks would come out, even though they didn't even know much about what I was doing, you know. As far as they knew, I was just you know, one of the guys in hot water music Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, four, four or so years ago, four or five years ago, it started something kind of changed where, you know, a lot of people started picking up the music and coming and checking it out. And, uh, and, you know, a lot of them didn't have any idea about hot water music and, you know, they were just there to see an acoustic show or, Mm -hmm. you know, a, a stripped down folk music show. And uh, it's kind of been going like that since. So. Do you foresee another record with hot water music? Yeah, 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 totally. I would love to. You mm-hmm. know, we all would love to. We've wanted to for ages. Um, it's just uh, it's just a matter of timing. Mm-hmm. We've got some plans to do some stuff in the summer. 
um, we'll see how it goes, mm -hmm. you know. And that's kind of the most exciting thing about it to me is um, I definitely don't want to force anything or, you know, it's it's got to happen when it feels right. It's got to happen when, uh, you know, everybody's on the same page and, and fired up. Right. in the same way so and in terms of this project after this spring tour wraps up would you guys have kind of in the works we're next doing month? a new record new record yeah. yeah nice yeah we're really excited about it um we're recording it with uh, a, a great fella uh, christopher thorne uh, used to play in a band called blind melon <laughs> yeah. and uh he's an amazing engineer producer uh, he's got a beautiful place down in silver lake and we've got some plans to kind of do some some uh I guess just a different way of recording. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to do it really strip. It's not a different way. It's actually the old, uh, an old way of recording, you know. But uh, from what we're used to, you know, we're just, we want to do it live. We want to do it very stripped down and just simple and, you know, honest. Have you guys started writing any of that yet? Oh, yeah. It's, there's, there's a boatload of songs there. Oh, nice. So we're just, we've been kind of working through some new stuff and having a good time doing it. And all the energy is just nothing but up mm -hmm. from all of us. And, you know, now that we found Chris Thorne and that record's going to be out on Side One Dummy as well. And I feel like all the, all the pieces are just in the right place. You know, everybody's just nothing but nothing but positive and fired up for mm -hmm. it. So do you feel you sort of like work on the momentum of being on the road or is it sort of like take a toll on you? And I mean, it sounds like you're very like inspired right now and you guys have a lot of energy and is that a result of kind of being on this relentless tour schedule? Uh, I don't know. We had a couple of days off in grass Valley sitting around the fire Just how <laughs> barbecuing. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe that's part of it. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, obviously the road takes an extreme toll, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, all of us have toured, for ages and uh well your instruments and your voice it takes a lot out of you i mean what you guys sure. are playing individually. yeah that but also just in your personal life as well you know it's sure. really hard you know the the trick is just to find that balance between um you know doing something that you're passionate about doing something that you love but still you know being responsible to to your to yourself, your home life, your family, mm -hmm. your loved ones. And uh, it's really easy to get caught up in, in what, what we call living in a bubble, right. you know. And, um, I mean, it, it can certainly be a very uh, selfish way of living if you let it, you know. Got to find that balance, uh, I guess. That's right. How do you yeah. keep your voice, like, kind of fr sounding fresh, you know? Fre <laughs> fresh. Well, you know what I mean? Like, you belt it out. And how do you just, like... You just drank a lot of water and... Uh, among other things, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whiskey is a good numbing agent. Yeah, Jameson helps quite a <laughs> yeah. bit sometimes. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I learned a few, you know, warm-ups and cool-downs years ago that kind of helped me survive on the road. But mm -hmm. other than that, and I definitely don't do them enough, but uh, other than that, it's just, you know, just let it, let it rip, you know? Right. <laughs> like, um, sort of just closing, can you, do you guys want to give any, you know, shout outs to any of the music that you're listening to right now? I know this can be a difficult question, also a fun question, no, but we could go on for ages <laughs> on that. Like what's in the van? What are you guys listening to? Nothing. The sound of the <laughs> Silence. <road>. Yeah. <laughs> Actually. Which is also nice. Yeah. yeah. We need to get a new stereo in the van. <laughs> no, I mean, we listen. There's so much. I can't even explain. I mean, a lot of the times uh, lately since we've been organizing uh, the, the next revival tours, we're listening to a lot of artists that, that we're you know, putting on the roster. Oh. A lot of the submissions. Um, Anyone in particular? Audra May, uh, Jenny Owen Youngs, Rocky Vadalato, Corey Brannon, um, Dave Haas. Dave Haas from Loved Ones. Uh, um, yeah, I could go on people. and on. Brian Fallon from Gaslight Anthem. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, who knows? There's also cool bands that we meet on the road, like the Cavaliers. We did a tour with them in Canada. Great man, Cavaliers. Um, Greenland is melting. Greenland is melting from Gainesville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch. I'm sure. It's hard to think of. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I actually don't like when people ask me that question. I'm going to get into trouble. <laughs> it's my least favorite question, actually. <laughs> music do you like? I don't. I just, I just reply, I don't really like music. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't listen to music. I don't listen to music. I don't do that. <laughs> like, I do it as a career, so I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks so much for stopping by and Thank playing you. that session for us thanks. and spending some time to talk to oh, me. Oh, yeah. I really appreciate it. It was wonderful. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot.